So today I want to be showing you a Lulu top guide. These are the runes that I would run if you want to play Lulu top. Personally, I like to build AP Lulu top, but there's specific matchup like into Dr. Mundo that goes a spirit visits first where you do want to go the normal support build, but we will get into that after so if you're going a build, i would go electrocute cheap shot for your q eyeball collector and then i would go ravenous hunter for the extra healing if you want to split push and stuff um or and just some healing and lane it's not like a whole lot you can go ultimate hunter if you want to focus more on late game team fights but I like Ravenous Hunter. Uh, usually I always go Tenacity just because CC is a pain in the ass and you won't be going Merc traits if you're going AP. Um, depending on the enemy team, you either go Cut Down or Coop the Grace, depending on what you're against. Even if you're against a half. Bruiser tank top lane and the rest of the team is squishy, I would go Coop the Grace. But if they have a tank jungler or a tank top, I would definitely go cut down. Just because it gives so much value for you. Um, of course you want to go double adaptive force if you're going AP, you want that more damage and armor or magic resist depending what you're against. Um, armor always tend to be better if they are 4 ADs but the enemy top is AP you might want to go armor just because your magic resist is already higher a lot higher than your armor just by default if you do want to go support build, like let's say you're against a Dr. Mundo that was spirit visits it's gonna be really hard to kill him even with full AP because he's gonna have so much MR then you obviously want to go the normal support build with Array, Mana Flow Band, Transcendence. And I will go Gathering Storm because Scorch really doesn't matter for lane. It, like, it really doesn't matter. It won't do anything. I will go Gathering Storm. And then I would go with this. Either Bone Plating or Second Wind. I'll Bone Plating against more Sassy Heavy comes. Second wind against more DPS oriented comes. And then of course this for bigger shields for your AD carry. Um, you could go this for damage, but personally, if you're playing support Lulu top, you're not going for winning the lane anyway. And then you would go Kade, uh, cooldown reduction here and magic resist here or armor, depending if they're armor heavy team. Okay, for Lulu top items, you always want to start corrupting pot. It's just so much value for you, especially when you want to do all these small trades, you're gonna use up your mana. Normally on the first pack, I will always get an Amp Tome for my Hextech Revolver and a Dark Seal if I have enough for it, or I'll just get a Dark Seal on my first pack. Because it amplifies your corrupting pot and if you're playing AP Lulu top, you're most likely gonna win the lane really hard if you play it right. So you're gonna get a lot of Dark Seal stacks. And if the enemy jungler comes, well then you kill both of them, right? Um, you really want Hextech Revolver because it adds so much damage. You EQ Auto for Electrocute proc or EQ W pull them off them and then just auto attack them a few times and this adds so much value in small trades like it's nuts <clears throat> people underrate this so much it's 40 ability power as well and it's pretty cheap and the magic bolt passive is so good like it's so goal efficient it's nuts 
Um, you can build this later into Hextech Gunblade or you can sell it. We'll talk about that. If you're gonna go AP, which is what I suggest you do, especially now with the current meta, which is Darius, Fiora, uh, Set, Irelia, all these bruisers that are not tank but are more um, carry heavy in the top lane. Your AP build is really good into those because you do so much damage against them when they build Trinity Force or Blade of the Rune King first. I'll always go Ludens, obviously for the mana because you need a hell of a lot of mana. Even if they go Black Cleaver or Trinity Force first, it adds that more HP to them so you want the mana to sustain. Then obviously Death Cap second because it's just the best AP item out there. You want that big power spike. This is kinda an expensive build, but it's definitely worth it. If you go AP build, you definitely want sock shoes. If you're gonna go the support build, you definitely want mercs on Ninja Tapis, depending what the enemy team is. And you Depending how the game goes, you might want Magi Soul Stealer from your Dark Seal. If you have 10 stacks and you're like 8 0, well, you're most likely never gonna die on Lulu, and you might as well just get the Magi's. So, if you wanna build for split pushing or one shotting in late game, these are the AP items you can choose from. Um, Lead Spain is really good for auto attacking, like and pushing down turrets. Oblivion is insane if they have no magic resist for bursting, and this obviously if they have a lot of magic resist. This if they have some more tanky comp, but you still wanna go AP, you definitely want Leandris Torment. Um, Banshees if there's really one CC key spell like a pike hook, a fresh hook, Cassiopeia, all like something that's really gonna lock you down. And you really need magic resist. Maybe they have four APs, like they have a Timo top lane, they have an Evelyn jungle, they have a Cassiopeia, AD carry, Alistar support, and Ayana mid lane you're probably gonna want Banshees for the survivability. And if you're gonna split push a lot, I recommend getting Hextech Gunblade out of your revolver, because it gives you so much sustain. Like, it's insane if you're split pushing. And it gives you a lot of burst as well. So you wanna... This is all situational items. If you wanna go for a more teamfight focused build after you have done your two core items which is Luden's death cap and you wanna go into a more teamfight oriented style you can go Arden plus Athene's Holy Grail if you just want a lot of oomph in your build this gives you a lot of AP it scales with your all, it scales with your E you get the extra heal and shield power this is just for, you want big shield, you want big ults, you want that Q damage. Um, then if you want some more utility and survivability and give your AD carry some damage, you can go Seeks. If they have a heavy CC, you want to peel for your AD carry, you go Michaels. If you need some engage or disengage, you can go Shirelias. I don't really like this item, but it can be pretty good um, if you need it. Knights of all for survivability as well. Um, you probably w always want to go either Arden. You always want to go Arden, I would say, and then one other item. So Arden and Athens is really good. Arden, Twin Shadows, if you want to slow them and have some more AP. Arden and Seeks is good. Arden and Michaels is good. Arden and Sirelius and Knights of all. If you want to go Athens on Holy Grail, I suggest only going it with Ardent, 
because it gives you the heal and shield power. It gives you the extra base mana region for the AP. You get AP from both of them. It's it's the big AP power spike with your death cap you really want. Besides that, I don't think Athens offers anything that you want from it without Ardent. Like Athens Michaels is it's a lot of magic resist and Athens isn't that useful useful with Michaels on its own. Like you get a little bit of heal on your E, but I don't think it's really worth it. Honestly. It's really good for Arden, but as an a standalone item it's really bad. Um yeah. But these are all your support situationals that you take depending on the game. Okay, so let's watch a game. It's I know this is low elo, okay, but it is what it is. It's gonna be a Darius matchup. Lulu into Darius is one of the harder matchups, in my opinion. Uh, there's two other hard ones, Trindemir and Set. They are really hard. Like you have stuff like Dr. Mundo, which is annoying to play against but they're not really a hard matchup it's just a farm lane where you go support build um so yeah this is the darius we're gonna be playing against it's a platform darius with like 60 percent win rate or some shit um so one thing that's really scary about darius is he often goes ghost and he will straight up run you down. It does not matter what you do. If you don't play the wave management properly, he will run you down and he will not look back. And you are just gonna die over and over again. If you get in his E range when you try to EQ him with your combo, you're dead. If you didn't wave management probably, you're dead. That's why this matchup is so hard in my opinion because if you mess up once you're pretty much dead I do make some mistakes in this game but for the most part I play it pretty well and um, I'm obviously not a 1400 LP challenger player that will play perfect every game So you always want to start with bush control in this lane. You want to let Darius push. Because if you push and you both hit level 3, he pops ghost, he runs you down, you die. The lane is way too long for you to survive. It doesn't matter if you polymorph him or polymorph yourself, you will not run away from him. And you will die. So important part is stay near the bush. If you're gonna auto him, go in and out of the bush to drop minion aggro. Try let him push. You can poke him, but you should make him push. So if you poke him, use the bush to drop aggro and don't poke him too much so the wave won't push into you. So we see that Darius hit the minion wave, which is what we want. I'm just gonna hit Darius for a bit of poke, electrocute proc, and let him shove me in. Because if we don't, we're gonna die on level 3 if we don't let him shove us in. So just poke the Darius while you clear the wave. This is all good. He's I missed some minions, which obviously you don't want to. You wanna get every minion. So this is pretty much, you just wanna freeze this whole time if you can. Poke him down, ignore the minions, cause you wanna keep that freeze. I can't face check him, cause if I do, he will kill me. Watch out for the level 3 spike from Darius. See, I fucked up a little bit because the wave is pushing back into him. But now he is dead because he missed his kill. I'm probably gonna flash on him here and kill him. Yep. 
Heal pop ghost. For whatever reason. Now you wanna shove the wave so it pushes back into you. This is rough because it's hard to push the wave alone here. But you wanna hard shove the wave as fast as you can. Ideally you want to spam ping your jungler to help you shove it out. Since Darius doesn't have TP. It's okay if you miss a few minions here if you just get it shoved in. Unfortunately I don't get it shoved in in time. So Darius gets back and gets the experience. So. We're gonna get the Anton and Dark Seal just like I said. It's always what we want. Since we hard shot the wave, it's gonna push back into us. We can freeze it, then try to zone Darius out of the minion and just poke him down. You want level advantage, but it's really hard against Darius cause he will run you down even behind, which you will see later. Good poke coming out. I ran way too close to him there. Look at that damage. If you mess up once, you die in this lane almost. Like, look at my HP. I almost die to a Darwin Shield Darius that's one level down. My Renka. This is kind of bad gang, because I body blocked Rengar so he couldn't jump, which wasn't intentional, but because of how League works, it's kind of sad. Then you want to shove this wave because it won't freeze. Shove it so Darius misses it all. Show it as fast as you can, always hit you want to try use your Q and Autos on the ranged minions while your ranged minions take care of the melee ones. And then you want to E the melee minions while you poke the ranged out. Now we're gonna get Hextech Revolver. If I have enough gold. Okay, I don't. I just get an Amp Tome. That's fine. I should be way more up in CS if I play this lane right. But, or not necessarily, because you can't really zone Darius out that much, because he will run you down if you do. But you want to try zone him out of the minions as you can. Here I TP mid lane, because I see this Silas is down. Like he's slow and he's pushing solo. So I just TP mid and then kill him. And then go back top to grab my wave, which is pushing into me. Sadly, I can't freeze the wave now because I pushed or because I TP'd mid. But it's fine, as long as I just get the experience. I'm level 6, Darius is 5. And in this scenario, Darius should never kill me, right? That's what you think. I'm gonna hit level 7 here. And I'm gonna be 2 levels up. How does a Darius that's 2 level down kill me? Well, let me explain. He has so much damage. Even with Dawn Shield Longsword, he will one-shot you. He will one-shot you if you messed up. I am two levels ahead. Look at this. I have double Amp Tome, Dark Seal. I'm like... I'm 80 AP. And what is Darius? He's like 95 AD. Because of all his space. AD. He only has plus 15. He will one shot me. If I mess up once, even two levels down, he will one shot me. Now this wave is really bad. Because it's pushing into Darius. Even though I'm two levels ahead, he has ghost flash. I don't have my flash. He can kill me. So if Darius is good here, he either kills me or he frees the wave and I will need my jungler to come. My jungler is bot side. So 
I'm fucked here. No matter what I do, I'm fucked. What do I do? Well, I I should go take Scuttle, take Grump, wait for my Junker to come, spam ping him to push the lane with me. That's what I should do in this situation. Because I cannot walk up. I walk up. Look, he's level 5. He will literally kill me. He thinks level 6. And I'm gone. Let's watch that again. Because this is very important. Because this is where you can't fuck up on Lulu. Top lane. Against that Darius matchup. Because even when you are hit, he will do this shit. I E. And I stand still while he's queuing. I should E and then instantly walk back. And then he pops ghost and he just runs me down. Yeah, it's so mental that matchup. So obviously I made a big mistake there that I went too close to him and died even with two level advantage. Look now, now he's level 7. He just got everything back that I got ahead of him. Now the matchup is really fucked. My wave is gonna push back into him. If I can't shock this wave before Darius comes back, I'm in a really bad situation. So now you wanna hard shock this so you can freeze the wave. Hard shock as fast as you can. You wanna be hitting the ranged minions here, not the melee ones, which is bad by me. And then you wanna E the melee ones when it gets slow. Hard shot this and then probably recall. Or just wait for Darius to shove it back in. Because you do not want to go near him right now. He just got Fage and uh, Magic Mantle, I think it is. Null Magic Mantle, yeah. If I walk up too f close here, he will kill me. You have to play really far back and safe. And just try and poke him with your Q. And then use your W. Look, he's one level ahead of me now. Even though I was two levels ahead. Just because of that one death. Which is why you really have to. Wave management, wave management, wave management. That is why I love Lulu AP top into bruise, bruises. Because... If you wave management correctly, it is so rewarding, but if you don't, it's so messed up. Okay, so let's see here. Obviously, I want to freeze the wave, right? I'm freezing. Why am I walking back? Can you tell me why I do this? If I want to freeze the wave? Well, I don't know where Darius is. He walked back. He could have walked in the Alco, walked into this bush. I don't have vision. And if I stay here, tank the minions, I die. So I know for a fact that Darius could walk here and kill me. So I can't hold this freeze. No matter what, I cannot hold this freeze. Because Darius is in fuck of war, typing to his teammates, whatever he's typing. It's probably unintentional, but this, this provides so much pressure for me that I can't freeze because I will die if he's in this bush. It's all about zone controls. All about those zones. So I have to give up this freeze here and just hope for the best. Because now the wave is going to push back into Darius if he doesn't mess it up. But this Darius walks up and outsource the minion for no reason.
Here I obviously mess up. Let's look at this again. Cause I mess up here really badly. I E also Q him. I could have walked out of that Q and Darius would be half HP. This is really bad, I get hooked. That's a final. I Q him. Look at this. I walk forward here. If I didn't walk forward here, Darius would have died. Cause I gave him so much HP, look at that. He was almost dead. He would have died if I didn't walk into the queue. So remember that always keep your distance. Always. Never walk too close to Darius. Cause he will heal and survive. This should have been a double kill here. But I messed up. Which is really sad. So this is on me and not on Rengar. A lot of people flame that jungler here, but it's really my fault. So this Darius is really bad because look at him, he's shoving the wave in with this low HP. If he wastes his Q like this, I know he cannot kill me without Q. He cannot heal back up. I will one shot him if he doesn't have Q. He just wasted his Q and I have everything up. I instead W myself and just run him down. Cause he cannot do anything. And Warwick is invading. I come to help but I Yana got it. We just have Hextech Revolver, Amp Tome. We are just freezing. Darius can't play the game. I find the wave out here. Because I wanna recall. I want to recall and get mana. Cause I cannot poke Darius down and hold the freeze without mana. So I want to hold the freeze and TP back. So I thin the minions down to free. You should always try to keep four, which is little bad by me. And I, oh, I don't even TP back. I just run back. That's fine. Darius is AFK typing cause he's too tilted. Look at this Darius, instantly shoves the wave. I'm stupid, I walk into his range here. That's obviously really bad for me. He just pops ghost and tries to run me down. This ult is really good cause I knock him out. Of my range. And then from there he's just pretty much tilted. Never dive a Lolo. Like that's one rule. People cannot solo dive you. Now I'm just gonna freeze this wave. And I'm just gonna get so far ahead. Like I'm... I might be same CS. But I'm two levels up again. And now we just freeze. This isn't a perfect freeze cause I'm bad. I should shop this wave here. And now we just poke Darius whenever we can. I'll probably recall here. It's so risky staying even if he's two levels down. I want him to shove me in so I can freeze. Look at this man. Look at that damage. Even with Merc threats. And I wanna freeze this. So why can I freeze it this time, but I couldn't earlier? Because of this ward. This ward here gives me enough vision to know 
that Darius is not in here. So I can safely freeze this, which I couldn't earlier. So I go ahead and freeze this wave. You want to always keep four minions. You can keep three as one of them is cannon. But always keep four casters. I just want to freeze and Darius can't do anything here. I miss the Q, which is really bad. And then I mess up the freeze. I'm level 11 to 9 now. I'm getting a hit in CS, just barely. I want to recall to get HP. Because I know Darius can one shot me here if he doesn't shot the wave. So I want to TP back and just get a freeze off. Keep four minions. Since I had a ward in here, I know he can't be in there. So I'm just gonna freeze it. And look at this, Darius can't really play the game. If this was any other top laner like Fiora or something, they get so fucked. The only reason Darius isn't as fucked is because he can run me down even when he's so far behind. Another one this is really hard against is Set, Cause his W can totally ruin your freeze so easily. Like he can tank a few spells from your poke and then just double you the whole wave and you can't freeze it. And then he has his passive which gives him region. Which makes him really hard. So yeah, this game is pretty much over here. So when you play Lulotop, wave management, wave management, wave management. That's everything. This game is pretty much over. We just run it down mid and they surrender. Or they don't even surrender, we just end it. Like, we just run it down. So yeah, that's how to play Lulu Top in my opinion. Um, as I said, remember wave management. Always freeze. Freeze those lanes against Darius. Cause he will run you down. If you can manage that Darius versus Lulu matchup, there's not a single matchup you can't win as Lulu. I feel like Darius is one of the hardest matchup you can possibly play against. And if you can manage Darius, you can manage the other ones. So yeah. There is other top lane champions where you where you can push them in level 3 and kill them because they don't have the pressure of being able to kill you. But for a starter, if you can freeze every time, you will get so far ahead and win. Because they cannot unfreeze that unless it's a set. Trindamir is kinda hard too, but Trindamir is kinda worse Darius. In a sense for Lulu. As long as you just dodge his W slow, you can't die to Trindemir. Which is a lot easier than playing into Darius. So learn the Darius matchup, learn to freeze, hold that freeze, learn to get that level advantage, learn to poke in between CS, and you will be golden. You will not lose a single top lane matchup if you don't fuck up. Don't walk into Darius range and get hooked like I do because I'm, I'm bad, okay? But if you do all this wave management, keep four caster minions, freeze the wave in front of your tower, put a ward in the bush if you need to so Darius can't use the bush and to kill you so you can safely freeze. And that's pretty much it. 
I hope you try Lulu top lane because it's a lot of fun and it's really rewarding when you play it right and it's really punishing if you don't which is what I love about Lulu top lane and I hope you try this AP build because it's really good instead of trying the support build try this AP build I think a lot of you will love it unless you're against like a Mundo tank that builds free magic resist items then obviously go the support build because you won't kill him anyway okay thanks for watching uh, let me know if you want some more guides on wave management or zoning or other stuff but then again there's a ton of those videos out there but i don't think there's lulu top guides like this good so that's why i made one if you want some other guides let me know i will try make them i'm obviously not a challenger player but I know the game pretty well. Okay, see you next time.